I just don't think people realize that it can happen to them. I think that's the thing that gets missed. You know, it's easy to slip through the cracks, but once you've fallen through, I think people do not understand that it's nearly impossible to crawl back up through the cracks. It's easier to stay down there. Every single night, Vermonters are sleeping in alleyways, in tent communities. This happens in the wintertime when it's 20 below zero. They're trying to manage every night having a warm place to stay. And when you're focusing on that, you really can't focus on anything else, including your health. I was clean and sober for 24 years. I worked every day, you know, as a mechanic mostly, then the electronics, and then I learned about computers and networks, and that led me to a job in the security industry. Life is, for a lot of the folks here at these sites, is surviving and just trying to get through to the next day. You know, you can't, you can't collect any clothing and store it. You can't collect food, store it, and cook it. Housing is health care. If you don't have housing, you can't really work on any of the other things in your life. So integrating this housing piece into healthcare uh, and into all sorts of, just looking at the person as a whole person and serving the person as a whole person, housing has to be a part of that. Having a base of operation makes everything else possible. Thankfully, I now have a, a, you know, a place to live. For now, I'm just concentrating on making appointments with case managers, maintaining my appointments with my doctor, if you can get them to a place where they get all that support and get it on a more regular basis, it's going to cost everyone a lot less. Our work is not done. We will continue to need cross-sector collaboration and cross-sector investment. And the beauty of this project was that the housing came with wraparound supports. And that's really where I think we're seeing the impact. Every day you wake up with nothing. That's not an easy thing for a person in those shoes to just do a 180 and pull himself up by his bootstraps. A lot of people had given up. We just stay out in the tents communities because they had tried in the past and not gotten any success. They know now there are opportunities for people to be housed. They've seen it. They've seen some of their friends get housing. People just had to look and, and see that in fact in their lives those people are there and understand that they didn't get there just because they made a bad choice, but usually for a wider range of reasons. And we just need to give them a hand to get out.